Hi guys, another video from the website Genie and uh, in this video we are going to look at how you can customize the maintenance page uh, when you are developing your website. So we come across maintenance pages. So say for example currently if I preview the maintenance page on this website. So if I just click on preview. So this is what we are currently seeing. This is the default maintenance page which you uh, see when you are downloading this plugin. So I'll just go to the plugin section and show you what plugin I'm using for this site so this the plugin is very basic and very simple but it just gets the job done so I'm using the plugin which is called maintenance and this is by web factory uh, this is by web factory limited it has got multiple uh, you know five star reviews and it's a very popular plugin but as you can see here it's not updated to the newest version but you guys can download the uh, you know recent version from the uh, you know uh, web store from the uh, wordpress repository so currently if you click on maintenance so its maintenance is off currently now uh, if you click if you just preview the maintenance the thing which i saw i mean show, uh, showed you so this is what you will see if you turn the maintenance mode on but we want to change few things we want to change the background uh, you know the, the image which is showing in the background we want to change this uh, text which is written over here and also we want to get rid of this uh, website title which is here because we are already seeing the website title in the copyright in the footer text so we will do all these changes so first things first so uh, this is what the general settings are so this is the page title which is which i have written construction and full string so this is again fully customizable so you can write whatever you want so this actually goes on the title of the page so this is where you are seeing what uh, you're writing over here so you can just keep it blank and uh, that way if you save the changes we'll just see nothing over here but we want to write something so here probably we'll write uh, maintenance mode so we'll just write maintenance mode here and for the headline so this is maintenance mode is on this headline is what you are seeing right here so this is what you're seeing right here so we want to change that and here we will be writing uh, construction in full swing and then comes this so this is site will be available soon thank you for your patience so this is what you are seeing right down below this headline so here again so uh, this this is a uh, you know textual editor so you can just put in uh, you can as if you were just writing on word microsoft word so you can just uh, change the you know text so I have Grammarly installed so this is they are telling me that the site will be available soon so I have a grammatical mistake. So again you can make it in bold or uh, like you, you can change to ch change it to italics so I can make it bold I will also make it italics and I will underline it. Uh, you can again you know center line this entire thing so you can change the alignment. Uh, you can also put in a link here so say for example this website is what is being developed and at the same time you have already another website where people can you know like view your current uh, you know current services or current products that you have and then when this revamped site would be up and running you will actually close down that website so you can just put in a link here so maybe you can just add a link here which says uh, so you can just uh, put in a uh, you know a website which you currently have so um, so for this tutorial I just put in the website of Google so if you just go to google.com and you can just copy this website uh, co copy the URL and you can paste it here and if you go to this link options you will actually see the link text so you can write whatever you want see current uh, current website so you can just make the user open the link in a new tab so i'll do that and i'll update it so now what will happen is when someone visits the site so we'll just put in a gap or uh, just put in a space here and we'll just make it on the next line so this we have the website title and page title we put in maintenance mode and now comes the logo so you can upload a logo but currently I do not have a logo of this website so i'll just put in any uh, any logo i'll just put in this one and i'll select this image and for the retina logo again i'll select uh, 
to have this one because I do not have any logos of this website. The background image is fully customizable, so you can just upload a background which you want. So I'll just upload. I have few images which which I've used to make this website. So I'll put in any image. I'll just put in this one, and I'll select this image. And so it's all done. So uh, you have few other options to play with. Like if you want, if you want to add a portrait mode background image. So if someone is opening the site on the mobile, so in the mobile it could open as a portrait version. So you can add an image for that. So you can add a page preloader image. So when the page is loading, you can show that image. The background color you can change it. The font color you can also change. So currently you have the font color is uh, white, but as you can see, uh, the image which we have uploaded, it, it has a lot of whites in it. So I think we will change the font color from white to black. So that it would be, I think, or maybe we'll change it to yellow so that it is a bit more visible on the background which you have uploaded. You can also change the font family to the subsets. Uh, if you have any analytics code for Google, you can add that here. If you want to add a background blur so you can add that as well so what that would do is that it would make the background image a blurred image so we'll see how that looks you can just play with all these kind of uh, you know, options that you have again the blur intensity you can also change that and see how it looks like and if you want to enable the front-end login so this is the front-end login so if you want this to be there you can just put it there or if you just you know deselect this this option won't be there then if anyone is opening this maintenance mode he or she cannot open the website even if he knows the credentials to the backend he would actually have to go to the website slash wp-admin to actually see the uh, admin to, to put in the admin credentials so we'll get rid of this and now we'll save the changes so just for another recap we have changed the page title the headline change the description footer text was as it is uh, so we can enable the image compression so that would enable you know websites to load faster so i think we'll go ahead with this i think for this you would require a few another another plugin i think you would require smash so i think we won't be doing this because that would install another plugin we have changed the logo we have changed the background i think we have put in some background the font color we have changed and we have changed the you know background blur effect and all so we'll just save the changes we'll see how it looks like so once you save the changes and then if you just get rid of this earlier construction earlier version now if you preview the changes so you can actually see what are the changes we, had, we have done currently so this is the logo of your website this is what we did uh, this is what we wrote in the uh, you know in the headline section this is the site description and if you remember in the site description we put in the website address of google so what that would do is see current websites so if you click this it would actually open in a new tab because that is what we selected when putting the link that it would enable the user to actually click on this and go to a new tab to open the website so this is what you can do with the help of this plugin you can just fully customize the um, the maintenance page which your users see and if you want to go the distance and actually buy the plugin so you can buy the plugin and once you buy the plugin you have options for all these kind of different themes so it comes with some pre-built themes so whatever we have created here these are all inbuilt with the theme so you can just actually buy it and by the way you can also put in some css codes so if you are very uh, if, if, if you are very friendly with CSS codes, you can actually put in the CSS codes here. But again, uh, the whole purpose of developing websites through WordPress is to enable people who cannot code to actually build great looking websites. So I'm not going to go into CSS codes here. But if you if you are aware of CSS codes and if you know how to put in that, you can put in the CSS codes here and save the changes. So this is what you can do. So again, the plugin is maintenance and it's by web factory limited so you can go ahead and download the plugin and add a unique looking maintenance page to your website so that's it for this tutorial video i'll see you again in another video thank you so much guys for watching and as always don't forget to subscribe to the channel share this video and give it a thumbs up if you actually learned something in this video.